Hello, Simon here, and I am super excited. I have just booked flights to Japan, which means this year I'm gonna be heading back to Hakuba Valley. Um, with that in mind, I thought I'd do a little rundown of my five favorite runs from Hakuba Valley and its 10 resorts included on the Hakuba Valley Pass. Whittling down all of the terrain in Hakuba Valley to just five runs is quite a task. Um, I've tried to vary it a little bit so every single run wasn't just uh, a tree run with incredible powder. However, that's what's amazing about Hakuba, so um, it's definitely a few of those on the list. Um, but with that in mind, if I've missed out your favourite run, just stick it down below in the comments because I'd love to hear from you. And maybe if I missed it, I might be able to catch it this year when I head back to Hakuba. Anyway, let's start the list. In at number five is Sukaigi Kogan and its DBD skiing area. The DBD, or Suga Power as you might know it, uh, is basically a membership area where you can ride the trees. Uh, as far as I saw, there was four gates. I have seen it written elsewhere that there is five gates. I must have missed the fifth one. Once again, if I've missed it and you know where it is, let me know in the comments below just where that fifth gate is. Um, but the four gates that you can access basically deliver you widely spaced trees and brilliant powder riding. This area just gets bombarded with snow. I think Sugaigi has an average of about 12 meters per season and access to the DVD area means that you will access some incredible terrain. Now, I chose gate three as my favorite. Uh, reason being, gates one and two are a little bit mellower, really, really nice, but gate three had some nice steeper terrain um, and a little bit more challenge. If you're going through gates one and two, you're going to see a lot of people. Uh, the further through you go, gates three and four, you tend to have it a little bit more to yourself and there is less fighting for those fresh turns. I should just take a moment to say that if you are interested in any of the resorts, I'm going to link uh, my resort reviews for those resorts down in the description, so make sure you check those out. That will help you find out all the information that you need to know to enter the DBD area, uh, and if you look on the resort review coming on screen now, uh, that will show you exactly where to go to get your membership. Joining the list at number four is Hakuba 47 and its terrain park. If you're heading to Japan, maybe a terrain park isn't top of your list, but if it is, the Hakuba 47 is the one to go to. You will also find terrain parks at Iwataki and at Sugaiki, but Hakuba 47 definitely has the best setup, in my opinion. Um, it starts with a half pipe just at the top of the main gondola, leading down into uh, some ride-on boxes and rails, some kickers, and you are able uh, to really progress in that park. I am a beginner when it comes to freestyle. You might have seen some of my videos from China. If you haven't, I'll stick the playlist up on screen now, um, but that will give you some indication of where I'm at in the park. I still have loads of fun riding around the Cooper 47 Terrain Park, and uh, I actually felt that I was progressing. The other really nice thing about Hakuba 47 Terrain Park is that it has its own chairlift. Okay, the queues can get a little bit long, but if you can manage that, uh, it's a really easy lap straight through the park, back to the top, just to do it over and over again. So number four, Hakuba 47 Terrain Park. In at number three, and of course, this resort was going to make the list, Hakuba Cortina and the number five chairlift. Now, for anyone who's been to Hakuba Cortina, you will know that number four chairlift, which takes you to the top of the resort, will actually be really crowded on a powder day. There were times when we were waiting 30, 40 minutes to get on the chair, and it can be so frustrating. Okay, when you get on the chair and you get to the top, you are going to find absolutely incredible skiing, deep snow, and it will be unlike anything that you have ever experienced before. At least it was for me anyway. But number five chairlift definitely isn't as popular, but the terrain there is absolutely fantastic. Just like number four chair, you have widely spaced trees, 
tons of snow and a really nice incline. You will get more laps, less cues and you will have lots of fun. My advice is at the top of the chair, most people turn right and that takes you back to the top of the piste. However, if you turn left, do a short traverse, you will find yourself in a tree zone, which is definitely less crowded than other parts of the resorts. So in at number three, a Cuba Cortina and it's number five chairlift. Okay, so number two, and this might be a surprise to some, but probably not a surprise if you have seen any of my videos from Hakuba Valley over the last year. I absolutely love this resort. It's completely empty and this run was probably my favorite non-powder day run in Hakuba. Now it's Sanasaka Ski Resort and it is Lake Down Trail. What you'll find at Lake Down Trail is incredible views. You look straight out at Lake Aoki. You have a nice wide groomed run with nobody on it so it doesn't get chopped up. Uh, it's a blue gradient so both beginners and more intermediate or advanced riders can still have fun. To the right hand side, skiers right, you'll find at the top a nice little pump track about halfway down, you find a couple of kickers and a couple of ride-on, uh, very small uh, tubes or rail features. Now, on my day at Sanasaka, I just lapped and lapped and lapped Lake Down Trail. There is a high-speed chair which takes you from the bottom of the run straight back up to the top of it, and you are not fighting anybody for space. I would highly recommend Sanasaka Ski Resort to anybody else. Um, I will hopefully get back. I think when I go back this year, I might be a little bit too late in the season, but I really do wanna add it to my list again for the future. If you wanna learn anything more about Sanasaka, just like with all of the other resorts, I'll link down to that in the description. Number one on the list is Hakuba Cortina again. Yes, I know it's made the list twice, but this time it's the backcountry run between Cortina and Hakuba Norikora. The two resorts are linked and you can use a Hakuba Valley Pass or a shared day pass for the two resorts to ride between the two. But the run that takes you from the Hakuba backcountry over to Cortina is absolutely amazing. By far, it is my best ever day on snow. Hands down, I've known nothing to rival it. Check out this video coming on screen now, uh, which is aptly titled Best Ever Day Snowboarding. Now, with that in mind, what you're gonna find is wide space trees, plenty of powder, and a longer run than you would get off the other points from number four chairlift. I already spoke earlier about the lift cues that you can find at number four, so by having this longer run, it definitely makes it more worthwhile. So how do you find it? You get to the top of number four chairlift, and there it is, straight in front of you. It'll say backcountry access. I wouldn't recommend going in there unless you're with a group of friends. The run that I'm recommending uh, would basically be a traverse off to the left. So as you're riding down, keep going to skiers left and eventually you'll end up in a little bit of a valley. That valley will lead to this bit here. Don't really know what you call it, but I've seen it in a lot of Hakuba videos. And on the other side of that, there is just a trail that leads back into Norikora. From there, you can get the chairlift right back over to Cortina to do it all again. On this particular day, at four o'clock in the afternoon, after a whole day of riding this lap, there was still fresh turns to be had. That is how much snow Hakubi gets, that is how fun that run is, and I highly recommend that you take your friends and you do that run when you get to Cortina. So that's it, that's my top five favorite runs. I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite runs in Hakuba? If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the thumb and subscribe. Uh, this winter, we are gonna be going to uh, France for French Alps, Italian uh, Dolomites, going to Lake Tahoe in California, and now just confirmed back to the Hakuba Valley. So there is plenty coming up, so make sure you're tuned, and uh, I look forward to seeing you more this winter. Thanks for watching.